So guys, um, after several months, um, I mean several months, um, I finally decided on a uh, inverter and I had looked at several different models, um, all different types, um, looking at ones people were using in, in different uh, systems as well as um, other ones that, that I personally chose to look at. Um, big thank you um, to the uh, Keylog uh, 69. Um, really appreciate his uh, input and opinion about uh, a particular inverter that I was originally looking at um, and almost purchased um, until he had mentioned um, some things. It was uh, an Ames um, unit and he just really didn't have that good of luck and I know that it's really humid in his area in Florida and I'm close enough to the water and in Washington state and it's fairly humid here and I worried about uh, that type of thing possibly affecting my unit as well. Um, his recommendation was the Go Power um, or the Kotex. Um, there's a couple others that I looked at that were a little bit higher end than, than these as well. Um, but this is the one I finally decided to go with. Um, this is the uh, Go Power. It's a 2000 watt inverter. Um, it's going to power everything I need um, and then some. Give you a quick quick look at the actual model number there on the upper corner. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys. Um, I, I popped open the box very briefly just to see what's inside, but I, I haven't pulled it out yet. Um, I was waiting to do that uh, with you guys on camera and uh, see what's going on. So let's go ahead and pop it open and see what's going on. Alrighty, so instruction manual. We'll definitely be looking through that a bunch. Um, Looks like some parts for the back. Uh, we might have to take a look at these and see if uh, this is uh, coated copper or something. If it's coated copper, I would probably be fairly interested in using that. Um, we'll scratch a little spot and see if that's the case. So the unit itself um, de definitely has some good weight to it. Um, well packaged. Uh, when it arrived, it was actually inside of another box as well. Good time to use the pocket knife. My ultimate favorite, the Benchmade 940. Alrighty, there we go. Back into the unit. Uh, one complaint that uh, a couple individuals had was the uh, positive and negative are really close, so actually when you back this screw out, it can almost touch. Um, if you go through and you read some of the instructions that other people had, um, you're actually supposed to connect this up first before the batteries, and then from there, you know, connect the negative, put this on here, and then this is going to block anything from touching the other side, so you should be good to go using these. other side of the unit. Alrighty. Now that we've got the inverter, um, it's going to be time to start laying out where we're going to put everything. So that's going to be my next task anyways, is just getting everything laid out, uh, decide where we're going to put everything.